I've been standing in this line for like six hours. And I'm not the only one. Alright, Tango. You ready, guys? You ready, Mama? <laughs> we just made it to the checkpoint. We're going to our gate now. On our way home. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of bird. I got canceled. I've been standing in this line for like six hours and I'm not the only one. Riley, stop crying. Daddy's smiling. Look at him. The line is super long. Clean the screen. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I can't believe we're stuck here until Monday. Our flight got canceled. By the time we rebooked our flight, everything was already taken for tomorrow and Sunday. So the next flight isn't until Monday. Monday is Marley's birthday and she turns two. So we stood in line for like six hours because our original flight was for an infant because she turns two on the day that we fly out on our new flight. They had to call some people to call some people and call some people to get her a seat on the plane, but they didn't charge us. We are going to um, get picked up by the shuttle right now and go to the hotel. But like everybody that was with JetBlue, everyone's flight got canceled. And it's already midnight. We literally waited for six hours. I'm hella tired. But um, the guy said he's about to be here in a minute. It smells like gas, huh? Yep. We got on the shuttle, so I don't know how long this ride gonna be. I don't know where the hotel is, but it seemed like it took him 40 minutes to get back, huh? It's far. It's far? But we basically about to have a whole free vacation. <laughs> Today has been a series of unfortunate events. Today has really been a real crazy day. Like, I can't, I'm delusional. I still can't believe it. Guys, we have a free day. Now we don't have to be busy all day. But we don't have to be walking so much. We can just chill, go to the pool, and chill. Right, Marley? Right? Every time Marley is happy, she says she sings this happy song. It's <laughs> so funny. and mad because I just overheard the lady say they don't have any rooms. Tim told us that we need to go back to the airport. <sighs> Lord Jesus. Jet Blue, count your days. That's all I got to say. Because look how they got us in the hotel lobby. Thank God the hotel said we could just sleep in the lobby because at first they said we had to go back to the um, airport. I'm so grateful that the hotel let us stay in here 
um, until tomorrow. They don't have any rooms available after an hour um, of just going back and forth with JetBlue, a hotel and JetBlue. The hotel was, the hotel staff is really nice here. Um, they say there's like a little area with couches in the lobby and they said that we could spend the night here. We didn't have to go all the way back to the airport. So we're not gonna be leaving anyways until Monday. So um, tomorrow when someone checks out, then we'll, we'll check into the room. Be here Saturday night, Sunday night, and then we'll go back to the airport on Monday. One o'clock in the morning, everybody else is asleep and I'm just up like I don't feel easy you know I don't feel relaxed I can't even go to sleep because I'm so stressed out about if we're gonna make it back on Monday I don't even know what if the flight cancels again on Monday I called JetBlue and tried to ask if they had any other flights but of course no I'm never flying JetBlue again. When I say never flying JetBlue again, I swear to God, like, ugh. They should be ashamed of themselves. I'm just glad that Marvin, Zion, and Jaquan are able to go to sleep comfortably. Cause it, it, we all know the airport is the worst place to try and go to sleep at. You don't ever have a real good sleep at the airport. The staff here gave us pillows and, and um, blankets. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll check back in tomorrow to see where we are. And if we get a room or not. Finally made it into a room. I'm about to start editing. I'm gonna start editing this video and then um see, see how it turns out. I gotta go through so much footage. Buzzing me. I heard it. I, I, I would cause any outside. I'm trying to figure out where we're going to eat. 7 30. I'm going to eat right now. I'm going to eat nothing. I'm going to eat nothing. And I'm hungry. Everybody's hungry. So I was looking up online and I found this place called First Watch. So I'm going to try and call it Uber. An uh, omelet sounds hella good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully they got omelets there. I think I'm gonna get an omelet. Thank you. Are you guys ready now? Yes. Miley, <laughs> drink your tea. Yeah, 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 drink it. Too. Drink it. Mmm. I'm not lit. I'm not lit. I'm not lit. Mmm. 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 It's not. Go. Oh, drink. Yeah. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy.
Hmm. Let me help you. It's not hot. It's not hot. It's hot. It's not We just finished eating at the restaurant. Now there's a Sprouts in the same plaza, so we're about to get some groceries to keep in the hotel because so that way we don't have to keep um, getting an Uber to go places because there's nothing close by the hotel for us to just walk to go get something to eat. So we just here at Sprouts. So we're gonna get some little stuff we could put in the room so we don't have to, you know, go out. I want to get these pretzels. I had some pretzels on the airplane and they was hella good. Now I'm like, want pretzels. I should get some wine. Jaquan just came over here and said, Damien said get a bottle of wine. And I just literally just said that. I wanted to get a bottle of wine. Let's see, what kind? I like Prosecco. I always say Prosecco, but why is there Prosecco? It's so expensive. I got something from here before and I'm trying to remember what it was. I don't like red wine no more. I used to drink red wine, but now I like champagne. Let's go to the cold refrigerator right here. Refrigerator. Wine, wine, champagne. Chardonnay, maybe? Maybe some Chardonnay? Wine till Friday. 2021. This must be good. Yeah, them Again. things is dangerous. <laughs> you video it? You playing a video game? Let's go find out. Oh, and then it's gonna get harder because you're gonna be longer. Hey, 
you can't run into yourself. Birthday wish rules. What's that mean? It means not to you my wish. He doesn't want to tell us because it's something stupid. Like conditioner, but that thing on his face. It's distinguished. Well, look, what about Mickey? Mm-hmm. Well, you can have it. Can I put some more hot chocolate? Can I tell you? You make it dirty? The wish rules no, over no, just the chocolate milk no, from Marley. No, Zion. That's enough. <laughs> you are so delicious. Drink some water if you're still thirsty. <laughs> been in our room all day about to go to the gym they playing mu- music they're going out this week so you're gonna press go and then it'll start three two one so to make it go faster you're gonna no 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 no, no. Yeah, to make it go faster, you're gonna push this. Don't go too fast, Zion. You can put it on um, 15. (laughs) Put it on 20. Okay. Yep, there you go. Wait, no. You want to run? Not in those slippers. Wait. You want to run? Start running. Use your hands. Run. I can run. I can run. Stay focused. Jake, <laughs> Yeah, you can run without your uh, slippers. If you want to stop Zion, just put your feet right here. Yeah. Well, you gotta press stop. I'm gonna use this, the elliptical. Okay. Mom is working out, me too. They got water right here, Jaqua.
then use your hands. You see? Yeah. Um, our flight leaves at 8 a.m. tomorrow, so the shuttle is picking us up at 5. Right now, I am downstairs ordering some food for us. This hotel doesn't have room service, so I had to come down here and order it. I'm just waiting on our, my number to get called. I'm so ready to go home. I washed my hair today, and it was hella dirty. I'm so tired. I'm about to just go back to the room and go back to sleep. We all just been sleeping all day, every day. It's raining outside too, so it's just gloomy and we just feel tired. I'm going back to sleep. See you guys in the morning. Future me here. I didn't end that vlog properly because I was over it, but we made it. Okay, so we got to the airport. Why are you shushing? Our flight was on time. Uh, we had a layover in LA. Our layover was nine hours long. So before we even left Florida, we knew we didn't trust JetBlue. So we knew we didn't trust them. We just had this feeling inside that we couldn't trust them. So before we even left, we said, we gonna rent a car. The drive from LA to, to the Bay is like five hours. And our layover was nine. Got to LA, drove home, in five hours. We drove back. Yes. <laughs> Literally insert clip here. And then as soon as we got home, I got a notification from JetBlue flight was delayed three hours. An hour later, I got another email. Flight delayed five hours. That flight never came to San Francisco until the next day. Our instincts were correct and it was worth it because we rented a car and it only cost us $45 plus the gas that we put in to come home. And I, at that point I was just ready to come home. So yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next vlog where I will be going to Mexico. Love y'all. Bye. Peace.